Hello, hello. This time I want to talk about a little weird quirk in data merge. So if you've ever had anything typed in French or Spanish or German um, or small Greek letters like this case here, uh, you've noticed an issue where if you do the usual standard uh, procedure that I've uh, kind of followed so far, where you go to download and you download the CSV, um, as a result, when you bring this into InDesign um, and you link it to data merge and you do the preview, the whole shebang, all of those characters turn into this uh, sort of ASCII uh, gibberish stuff, basically. Um, now, I'm not an expert in text encoding formats or, or anything, but from what I can tell, uh, the weirdest part of this is that when you download the CSV from Google Sheets and you preview it here, um, let's bring this up into uh, the native uh, spreadsheet viewer in uh, Macintosh. Uh, this is uh, numbers. Uh, you'll probably be using Excel if you're looking at something locally, um, but um, Excel on my machine is extremely slow and I don't think really up to date, so numbers it is. Um, but if you just look and preview it um, in this uh, spreadsheet uh, viewer, you can see that the characters did come over. They did download from Google Sheets. They are still there, uh, which is very strange. Um, so some point, at some point, uh, linking the CSV into InDesign is turning these characters into gibberish. So this has been a weird problem that I've had for a long time, and I never figured out a way around it. Uh, but I happen to be talking to Jade, who is the rules manager at Project Nisei, the fan collective that is reviving Netrunner and keeping it going. Uh, and they gave me a tour through their spreadsheets and their data merge process. Uh, so there was one extra step that they were doing. Uh, they download the uh, CSV, just like kind of I do. Um, but the one extra little wrinkle they do when they, um, when they have it locally uh, is they save it. Uh, or export it as a CSV with very specific encoding. So by default, uh, it seems that the CSVs are encoded in UTF-8. And what uh, after some fiddling on my end, I found UTF-16LE is the uh, text encoding that will uh, maintain these characters. And I've already saved a copy of this, so I won't save it again, but you can see it uh, over here. Here. I've just labeled it um, 16LE. I've also tried 32 and 32LE and just 16 on its own. Uh, none of those really worked um, and had weird errors of their own, but it was 16LE that was the just the right thing. So um, just by way of proving it, I'll link to that CSV again. So let's go pick the right one. Looking for names, 16LE, okay. And then I will preview, and there you go. All those characters seem to be supported. All the odd things, even Greek letters, all of those still there, which is great. Uh, Cyrillic characters, which is really, really nice. Um, so uh, this is very, very useful for me because I've been working with uh, some card decks that uh, happen to have uh, French names in them. Uh, so, uh, especially for artists, if you're hiring artists overseas, like, you got to get their names right, uh, and you don't want to have to manually insert these characters by hand every single time you run the deck. Uh, so this one little step seems to be pretty helpful. Now, I was very curious, um, because there's another situation when I'm linking stuff into uh, data merge, uh, where I've frequently had to tell uh, game developers and game designers that when they set up their spreadsheet, that they look for any uh, curly uh, apostrophes or curly quotes, um, look for any ellipses that are a single character. You notice how uh, when I highlight this, this is highlighting as a single character because those are not three dots. That is one character that is, happens to be three dots. Um, uh, M dashes are pretty common too. Basically, um, whenever somebody copies and pastes something out of a word processor like Word, and brings it into a spreadsheet, it will carry over all of these um, unusual punctuations that don't seem unusual to the naked eye, but um, but by way of comparison, um, what you're actually looking for usually 
is a straight apostrophe like this. You notice how this is just this straight hash mark versus a curved apostrophe there. Um, by the same token, for quotation marks, you're looking for uh, straight uh, uh, quotation marks, not curly smart quotes, as they're called. Um, because um, if you try to link those into InDesign, as they are, um, which I will try to do now just, just to show you what happens under normal circumstances. Um, let's go to Glyphs and link that, I preview that. You can see this all just turns to gibberish as well, um, so, which is also odd because like, if you had tried to actually type in a mega symbol uh, under normal circumstances, it would have turned to gibberish as well, even though it seems quite supported <laughs> in, in the error. Uh, but uh, in any case, either the, the character turns into gibberish or it just doesn't show up at all because it just doesn't happen to be in that character set. Um, let's go ahead and show this process IRL. So I'm going to open this up in numbers. I'm going to save that as a CSV Unicode 16LE. Next, let's just call this 16 LE CSV. So that is their Unicode 16 LE. All right, so let's link to that CSV now. Glyphs 16 LE, let's preview this. Hey, look at that. Wow. Hey, it's got M dashes. Oh, look at that fraction marks. It's supporting that. I don't have to worry about making weird grep commands for fractions anymore. Uh, oh, it supports uh, ellipses and crosses. And, oh, and look at that, little bullets. Oh, that's so nice. Um, any registration marks, mathematical symbols, like this the specific X for multiplication, which is distinct from the letter X. Um, yeah, it's it, this is great. So I don't know, at some point it would be nice if um, we could natively control the text encoding when we download the CSV from, um, uh, from Google Sheets, because then it would just save an extra step of me having to go through this uh, locally where I open it up in numbers and change the text encoding. Um, and in your case, you're probably going to be doing this in Microsoft Excel, which is sort of a different, uh, I think it's very similar. I hope it's, hopefully it's a very similar process as I do in numbers. Um, and just to recap what I do in numbers, which is hopefully something similar to what you would do in Excel, I just go to file and export and CSV. And I have several options here, one of them being text encoding. Uh, it may be hidden underneath your advanced options like it is here in numbers, um, but yeah, this is all it takes. Um, then you go through the next process of like saving it and putting it somewhere where you're gonna find it, and that's it. So uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, hopefully this makes it easier for you to handle um, uh, cool uh, international characters. Thanks again to Jade at Project Nisei. You can find more on Project Nisei at nisei.net. Until next time, bye.